What is poppin' Calisthenics fam? My name is Brennan Myers, and today I wanna talk about the two foods that are actually killing your gains and your body inside to out. All right, so when we talk about the two foods that are killing your gains, not only short term, but long term. Remember, long term health benefits. That's why I make the videos on my channel. I want you to build the body that you want, but also be healthy in the process long term. So the first food, and don't be too surprised when I say this, is going to be peanut butter. Now, the reason why I bring up peanut butter is a few different reasons. One of them being the ingredient content. Always look at the ingredients. What is processed? What is GMO? What is in there that makes the peanut butter so cheap? Most likely it's corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup. It could be hydrogenated oils. Look out for it. It could really kill you, especially. Now, Peanuts are grown underground, making them susceptible to toxins like alpha toxin. This is actually a mold. Do you want to consume a mold? Probably not, right? This toxin is highly carcinogenic, which means it is a substance that can cause cells to become cancerous. You do not want to consume a food that can potentially cause cancer, do you? Now, one of the biggest issues is that 99% of peanut butters contain this toxin. So what do I recommend for you other than substitutions, and I'll get to the substitutions at the, at the end, sorry, um, is finding organic Valencia peanut butter. That's one of the brands that I know of. You can comment down below if you know any other brands that are similar to not having this toxin in there. Um, but that's not even the only reason why outside of that brand you shouldn't be eating peanut butter. The toxin is just one step. The second step into what you're consuming, you have to remember fatty acids. You know, the food that you're eating might have too much omega-6 fatty acids, it might have too little, and you really need a good ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids. Now, when it comes to peanut butter, it's very, very high in omega-6, so it can affect you in that way where if you're eating so much peanut butter, your ratio's off. Now, what does this mean? What's the outcome? Consistent inflammation within your body. So, what do I suggest to replace all of these different peanut butters? I understand it's cheaper, but usually cheaper does not mean better. It just means it's cheaply made and there's a lot of different ingredients. So I do suggest sunflower, almond, or cashew butter. Very, very important with your muscle building process. Now, just comment down below with how you feel about that specific food. I'd love to hear your discussion down there and I'll comment back and we can just discuss other just methods or foods that you can include in your diet that are similar to peanut butter or maybe you do have another brand that doesn't have that specific toxin. The second food we're gonna be talking about is brown rice. I really want you to avoid it if you can, eat more white rice, really don't even eat too much rice in general and focus more on sweet potatoes, russet potatoes, and more vegetables. But yes, brown rice. We've talked about, uh, or we've heard about the white rice being better than the brown rice being better than, uh, brown rice has more nutrients. That's true, but the, it, there's just a huge myth that this is the healthiest for you. Although brown rice has a good amount of nutrients within each cup, there are a few anti-nutrients that nobody talks about. One being phytic acid. This inhibits micronutrient absorption. Things like zinc that are in brown rice, iron, magnesium, and calcium, all extremely important in the muscle building process and overall incredible for your hormones and your metabolism and everything. If you can't absorb any nutrients, then how is a food good for you? I look at the micronutrients. I look at what I'm absorbing and what it's going to benefit me for in the long run. And that's why I do not recommend brown rice. White rice, you'll see, because it doesn't have the phytic acid, is a lot easier to digest, and it's not gonna inhibit the actual micronutrients that are, that are in there. But you know, everyone talks about the fiber content of brown rice. I completely understand that, I do. But because of this lone fact that the phytic acid is so prevalent within the brown rice, I do not recommend it. And I suggest sweet potatoes or russet potatoes and just a lot, a lot of vegetables, green, green vegetables, remember. So those are the two foods that I believe are killing you. And the reason why I say killing you is because it does have an effect long-term on your health. If you're not getting the nutrients in your body, it affects hormones, it affects your metabolism, it affects everything, cancerous cells, just like we talked about with the toxin above. So really dive into your nutrition and take some tips that I give you 
substitute the foods, instead of uh, brown rice, eat a sweet potato, instead of having peanut butter, have cashew butter, incredibly tasty, and you'll be good to go. Good fatty acids, a good carb is very important in your diet, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm here in Florida actually for the next five hours and I'm driving or I'm flying back to Cali. Love you guys, thanks for tuning in. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.